Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we have another remarkable story. Today's book is called, I Miss My Friend, and That's Okay, written by Shemaine Perry Knights. Now this wonderful story is about two best friends who live so far away from each other and they miss each other very much. Now this book, is all about friendship. Let's see what happens. Let's get started. Hey, Carrington. Remember that time? I gave you a piggyback ride. It was so much fun. I miss you so much. Italy is different and it doesn't feel like home yet. I wish my dad would say we're going back to a real home in Fort Benin. My mom keeps telling me to give Naples a chance. The army needs us to be brave. And she says that I'll have a great time with other kids when school starts. Naples looks like a painting with all the pretty buildings. And when mom and I go for walks, we see the pretty blue Mediterranean Sea. We hear so many sounds like Vespas zooming by and street performance singing. It's really exciting, but sometimes when there are lots of people and noise, I feel lonely and invisible. Everyone is nice, really nice, but I'm still nervous about starting school. What if nobody wants to be friends with me? And whenever I feel this way, mom takes me for gelato and we talk about our feelings. Gelato is Italian ice cream and it is so yummy. Mm, yum, yum. Grace. Hi Grace. I heard that Dodia schools have a class called the Host Nation. What's it like? It's so cool that you're learning the new language. I miss our sleepovers, going to the movies and playing in the park. I wish you were still here. It's boring without you. Naples sounds amazing. Did you take any pictures yet? I want to see that. And I'm sure people will love you once they know you, like I do. Making friends will get easier. Take care and tell me about all the fun things that you're doing there. Carrington. So, Carrington, school is different here and I'm okay with that. Yes, I have a host nation class. It helps me understand English language, food, and culture. And guess what? I'm learning Italian too. Francesca is my youth sponsor and she's amazing. She's nice, funny, and teaches me new words every day. Speaking Italian feels natural and the words sound beautiful. Sometimes I don't understand everything and that's okay. Francesca shows me around the school and sits with me at lunch. Oh, and she invited me to a birthday party next week. I'm super excited to eat all the delicious Italian food and cake. 
Grace. Hi, Grace. I'm happy that you found a new friend. I miss you a lot. And there's a new girl named Rox. She's nice too, but not as fun as you. My mom suggested a sleepover and she said yes. Everyone here still talks about you and asks how you're doing. Send pictures next time you write, okay? And don't forget about me, Carrington. Hey, Carrington, Francesca is nice, but you're still my best friend. I miss you and everyone else a lot. Here are some pictures I took for you. One is from my window and the other is of me and Francesca at her birthday party. There's a field of dandelions. I hope you like them. Dandelions are tough and they can survive almost anywhere and are cons constantly moving and starting over, just like me. Mom says it's normal to make new friends and that's okay. I'm happy that you're having fun and it feels good to know everyone still remembers me. Here are some pictures of me and cool things in Naples. Hope you like them. So for now, Grace, Hey Grace, my mom says the same thing. Guess what? Right now, we're learning about ancient Rome and its fascinating culture. Did you know the Romans made special water highways called aqueducts to bring water to their cities? Have you seen any in Naples? They must be awesome. There are so many places to explore. And by the way, I love all of these pictures. Don't forget to send more. Bye for now, Carrington. Hi, Carrington. I had a great weekend in Rome. Here's a picture of us and the aqueducts. They are massive. We ate delicious food at a local market. It was an amazing experience. And there are a lot of things to see and do in Rome. It's getting colder and I'm getting more excited about being here. I've heard that Christmas in Europe it's magical, and I'm ready for it. Take care, Grace. Grace, I showed your pictures to everyone, and Mr. Mosbog even put them on the classroom board. Here's a silly picture of us with our names written on the back. I hope you like it. Christmas. It's supposed to be cold and snowy this year in Georgia. Carrington. Carrington, I love the class picture. Maybe you can come visit me. Remember my stegosaurus, Cody? He got lost and had his own European adventure before coming back home. I'll tell you more in my next letter. I'll always miss you, my friend. Grace. Wow. What a wonderful, remarkable story. Thank you so much for joining us again, boys and girls, for this wonderful story time. We thank you for being here. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. 
We'll see you soon.